Well, you know, I think it's always difficult to uh, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Iran's leaders are delighted. They can't believe their good fortune, like Vladimir Putin, to be facing Barack Obama as the U.S. president instead of a Ronald Reagan or even a Mitt Romney. Since Barack Obama has been negotiating and starting to get closer to a deal with Iran over their nuclear program, they have increased their nuclear stockpile, not decreased it, they have increased it. They have said that their plan remains to scorch Israel and the world. And yet Barack Obama continues to give them concession after concession. Well, on Israeli TV the other day, Barack Obama gave away the last greatest concession of them all. He said that he simply will not use military force to stop Iran. Here, take a quick look. The best way to prevent Iran from having a nuclear weapon is a verifiable, tough agreement. A military solution will not fix it, even if the United States participates. It would temporarily slow down an Iranian nuclear program, but it will not eliminate Can it. You so the United States has said in advance, while the poker game of negotiations is still going on, that there is no stick, there is no or else. Iran can simply take it or leave it and there will be no military punch. The United States will not attack Iran's nuclear program. You generally don't show all your poker cards to the other side, but Barack Obama has never been a good negotiator. Ask Vladimir Putin, who is an ex-Crimea pain-free. But there is one more thing Barack Obama said in his Israel interview I want to leave you with. He says just how much he deeply cares about Israel's hopes and fears. Here, take a listen. Can you even imagine a scenario where Prime Minister Netanyahu, after this deal, which he says it's a bad deal, that's why he came to Congress, launches a military strike and doesn't even call you I won't ahead of time? I, I, I won't speculate on that. Uh, but what I can say is to the Israeli people, I understand your concerns and I understand your fears. Do you think Barack Obama understands Israeli fears? Israel, which was built out of the ashes of the Holocaust, six million Jews dead, that Iran not only denies the first Holocaust, but promises a second one, a nuclear Holocaust. Do you really think Barack Obama understands those fears at all, let alone cares about them? Does he care about the fears of Israelis the same way he cares about Iraqis and Syrians that he has abandoned to the Islamic State. Do you think he cares about Israelis with the same depth of passion that he cared about Ukrainians who were invaded in slow motion by Vladimir Putin? Is it that kind of deep caring? That's what Israelis are afraid of. Uh, let me close with one more fact, though, besides this Israeli interview where he's saying, don't you worry, Iran's fine, we won't attack them, and, but I deeply care for you. Barack Obama also brings a threat that if Israel doesn't shut up about Iran and go quietly to the slaughter, he will allow the United Nations to create a Palestinian state, as you can see here. The practical consequences I refer to, mm -hmm. let's be very specific. Um, if there are additional resolutions introduced in the United Nations. Up until this point, we have pushed away against European efforts, for example, or other efforts, uh, because we've said the only way this gets resolved is if the two parties work together. But you're not sure you're going to continue and, doing that? Well, here's, here's the challenge. He's threatening Israel to abandon it to the wolves of the United Nations. That's how much he loves and cares for Israel. Of course, it's even in his threat, it shows a deceit because a United Nations resolution won't create a state of Palestine. A United Nations resolution will simply give more false hope to people already living under Hamas's theocratic dictatorship in Gaza or the kleptocracy in the West Bank. Palestinians have been offered a state many times by Israel. Their own leadership is the barrier. Simply having a resolution in New York won't do anything other than create more global anti-Semitism. And you know what? For Barack Obama, that's fine. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.